Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. This time starting a dive right into the deep end of the most underappreciated meta in Tarkov, the fashion meta. We're building loadouts just to look good, have fun, and escape the trap of running the same three builds every raid for months on end. I've always been a big believer in taking a break from the serious business of Tarkov every now and then to just relax with a nice build and see how it works compared to a painstakingly min-max setup. Because I've built a few thousand guns in Tarkov in my day, I also have an uncanny ability to make things look good and feel good, so I've got a few videos coming up here that will just be focusing on sharing a few carefully crafted builds, how to make them, and some gameplay with them in action. For this one, I'm starting off simple with a short-barreled M4 and an AKM that tick both the fashionable and functional boxes, so without any further delay, let's take a look at the builds. First up, we have a longtime personal favorite of mine, the Viper M4 build, a compact, sleek CQB setup that's all about those close-range engagements. To start off, I replace all of the vital parts on the M4 for upgraded pieces, starting with the MUR-1S upper receiver, then adding the 260mm barrel, the SI advanced buffer tube, the JP gas system 5B, and the Avalanche charging handle. For the muzzle device, I generally stick with the Saker suppressor and the ASR-556 muzzle for the best recoil, and it just happens to look really stylish at the same time, so that's a win-win in my books. The handguard on here is the Viper M-Lock handguard, best used on short barrel builds for maximum style points. After adding some rails to this, I set it up with an SI Cobra foregrip and the trusty X400 flashlight on the bottom of the handguard. For the sight, I have a soft spot for how the Delta Point reflex sight looks when it's set on this LaRue Picatinny riser for a great sight picture and very little obstructing your view while you're aiming. On the back end of this thing, I've got the black MOE carbine stock and the rubber butt pad as well as the Growl S pistol grip. Finally, you gotta add some MBUS iron sights just for the style points. When this is all put together, I end up with 43 recoil and about 69 ergonomics for a total cost around 300,000 rubles. If you want lower recoil, you can swap out to a different foregrip, but for me, 43 recoil is a pretty solid place to start, especially for close range fights, and I think this is one of the best looking M4 builds out there in Tarkov. For this second build in the video, I've got an AKMN setup that I let my Twitch chat help me design on stream, so this one is a bit of a design by committee sort of situation. Like the Viper M4, this one ends up with some solid stats and some serious sex appeal, so let's take a look. First up, the muzzle device starts off with the AK-308 adapter, which lets you add 308 muzzle devices to the AK, and then I've got the Lantac A3 adapter on here as well. Next, I attach the blast mitigation device and the Dragon Compensator for some great recoil stats without sacrificing many ergonomics points. Next up, I swap the gas tube over to the Kiba Arms VDM-CS gas tube, which then allows me to equip the Krebs Custom UFM handguard, which you don't really see many people using out there, even though it has some pretty good stats. This handguard takes key mod rails, and after adding those, I slapped on the RVG foregrip and an X400 flashlight to the handguard. For a sight mount, I'm using the Fab Defense PDC dust cover, which is a bit expensive compared to others, but I think it gives the AK a much more modernized look. For my sights, I have a Monstrum Compact 2x scope on the dust cover, and then I'm running an MPR45 angled mount with a Delta Point Reflex sight on there for when I don't need the 2 times. On the back of the rifle, I have the AK Archangel stock, which is pretty amazing from a style perspective if you ask me, and then an MOE AK pistol grip. The final part on here is a CSS charging handle for the extra ergonomics. When this is all set up, I end up with 56 recoil and about 64 ergonomics for a total cost of around 200,000 rubles. I also ran this with a Thunderbeast suppressor at nighttime with a few different scope setups so I could see the rogues on Lighthouse in the gameplay. Well that pretty much covers it for these builds, the first in what should hopefully be a series of videos covering two or three builds each that are just trying to be cool. They aren't trying to be meta or the best in the game, just something that's usable and looks different than the same tired meta builds. I've got some gameplay with these builds to close out the rest of the video, so I hope you enjoy, and let me know what setups you think I should take a look at next down in the comments. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City. This is real awkward. Oh, I got long line done finally.
Pretty sure that was a smash 12. Like I hit once and I'm like, oh, my intestines are all over the floor. Oh yeah, that's a smash 12 enjoyer. <laughs> Only fans, mom. Dude, he's right there. The fuck? Gotta wait for the right moment. <sighs> oh, that's a horrible throw. Retreat, man. I think he's grabbing his buddy's gear. That wasn't the guy that shot me, though. To me, that's really the... Oh, yeah, I've heard this makes sense now. So he blasted at me with the scar at first and then switched to the vector. Oh, man, that guy's only level 11. He actually did quite, quite good. I'll be honest. tech for me. Whoa! This man came out swinging! guys got oh man that is a big old group It's a little jumpier than I was expecting. Fuck. Fuck. God made me whiff my nade real bad. <laughs> It's a lot more bouncy than I was expecting. Damn. <laughs> All right, we're back to the drawing board slightly on this build.
what gun was that that he's shooting at me with? It didn't sound like a very Chadley gun. Oh, that was an arsass. Okay, I take that back. Oh, TTV, by the way, by the way. It's always a treat to see an arsass out in the wild. Raiders? Oh yeah. I love that call out though. Dickhead front. Shit, that raider just styled on me. He fucking power slid that corner and just took me out. Thought I might have to aim a little bit above that guy's head, but no, actually, not at all. They should add like a customized fucking um full auto 366 pepper. for it. One, two, three, and there goes my head. That's actually got a cool loadout. Mad respect to anybody running the uh, MP5 SD. Dude, you know how fucking, like, frequent the Bitcoin drops are off of that little box in that van? He's up on the hill. Oh, shit. Fuck. Are these guys related? I don't know what I was trying to do with that push out there, <laughs> but it did not work. Summoned it easy. 
It's like after you said it, the game was like, ah. I should have popped a heal before fixing the bleeds apparently because I died to the blood loss while I was just standing there.